Hello guys, Hello. I'm Morena. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being here. Um, today I'm gonna do a presentation about Luigi Pirandello. Luigi Pirandello is a, was an Italian play writer, novelist, and short story writer renewed us for a significant contribution to 20th century theater. He was born in Sicily in 1867, Italy, and Pirandello studied at the University of Palermo, Rome, and Bonn in Germany, delving into literature, philosophy, and philology, and initially pursuing a career in education, and he also ventured into poetry and novels. And in the early 1900s, Pirandello's focus shifted to theater, where he revolutionized dramatic conventions. And he explored themes of identity, reality, and the human condition, often challenging traditional concepts of truth and illusions. Um, notable works include plays like Six Chapters in Search for of an Author, is a piece blurring the lines between real, real, reality and fiction. So, <coughs> Pirandello's literary achievements were recognized with the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1934, and his innovative storytelling and profound philosophical insights continue to influence literature and theater, leaving a lasting legacy in the world of arts and culture. So he passed away in uh, 1936, but his timeless works remain studied and performed globally. Okay. So now I'm gonna talk about uh, his poetry that is like divided in uh, vitalism and uh, cognitive relativism. Pirandello's worldwide is deeply rooted in vitalism, viewing real reality as perpetual movement and transformation. According to the, this perspective, life is an eternal process of becoming, of becoming an incessant flow of change from, from one state to another. Individual form, detached from the continuous flow, became rigid and, in Pirandello's view, begin to die. People, as a part of this eternal flow, tend to crystallize into distinct form, creating the illusion of current personalities and fixed identities. However, this form are merely subjective construction, masks imposed by individuals themselves and the societal context. In uh, Pirandello's vision, our perception of ourselves and how other per perceive us are both illusory. Each person appears different to other based on their unique perspectives. These varied forms are masks, concealing the underlying, incoherent flow of every changing state. This theory reflects the crisis of identity and personality of the 20th century, influenced by the societal forces that fragment and deny individuality. This inconsisten inconsistency of the ego leads the profound confusion and pain in Pirandello's character. They grapple with the anguish of not having a fixed identity and the loneliness stemming from this lack of stable selfhood. Additionally, individuals suffer when others impose form upon them that they cannot recognize as their own. Thus, impose form friction as traps or prison from which individuals struggle, often in a vein, to escape. Pirandello's works re reveal a profound rejection of no social norms, institution, and imposed rules. There is a desperate desire for authenticity, immediacy, and, vi and vital spontaneity. The family, as are portrayed in his works, exemplify the oppressive nature of social structure filled with demeaning grayness, sacred tension, and hypocritical affection. Similarly, economic constraints and societal hierarchies create traps, leaving his character trapped in monotonous, frustrating jobs. 
Pilandello's pessimist is all-encompassing, allowing no escape for these social traps. His critic of bourgeois in institution is firstly negative, lacking proposal for alternatives. Instead, his character finds relative salvation through irrational means, either by escaping into imagination and fantasy, creating a fantastic world that offers respite, or the shunting, the shunting into madness, a tool for contesting false social form. A recurring figure in Pirandello's work is the foreign of life, an, indiv an individual who comprehends the fictitious nature of social mechanism. This figure isolates themselves, observing order from superior vantage point, refusing to conform to societal rules. Their attitude is uh, marked by a humor, humorous detachment, highlighting the absurdity of human existence within, the, within these societal tropes. So now we're going to talk about the humor, and Priandello's is of the Priandello's conception of art and poetics derived from his genre worldwide. Explained in various essays, the most notable is humor, a text for understanding Priandello's universe. According to Priandello, a work of art emerged from the free movement of interior life. At the moment of conception, reflection remains invisible, almost to a form of feelings. When we were in the humorous works, reflection is not concealed. It does not function as a form of feeling, but rather stands as a judge, analyzing and deconstructing it. This gives rise to the feeling of the opposite, a characteristic trait of humor. Pirandello provides like an, as an example. When of observing an old lady with dyed hair and heavy makeup, one feels that she is the opposite of what an elderly woman should be. This sense of the country constitutes the comic element. Yet, when the reflection intervenes and suggests that the lady adopts this appearance to maintain the love of her younger husband, a deeper understanding emerges. In this transition from the warming of the opposite which is coming to the feeling of the opposite, a numerous attitude arises. In numerous art, reflection captures the multifaceted and contradictory nature of reality, enabling, enabling simultaneous perspectives. It illuminates both the ridic ridiculousness of a person or a situation and the profound depth of human suffering. Conversely, when confronted with the serious and the tragic, it inevitably reveals elements of the ridiculous. In a reality that is multifaceted and versatile, the tragic and the comic are inseparable, coexisting and completing each other. I'm done. I'm sorry because like it's really difficult, is it like so Italian to understand? <laughs> I don't know. It was a little bit difficult for me to write this, mm -hmm. but I really hope that you understand a little bit. So if you have some questions, I, I, I sometimes fearing that these characters are belonging to the uh, bourgeois society. <coughs> Yeah. So it's a kind of a little difficult for us, uh, such a kind of the unique society. The people are actually wearing some kind of the masks yeah, in front of the people. Mm, but sometimes it could be really related to Japanese people for me. Mm -hmm. They has a lot of masks. <laughs> no, not, not, I'm not, I mean, they are like illusory. But like everyone, we, everyone wears masks yeah. with everyone. So, I mean is a double mind condition for everyone. Exactly. Being, uh, being, I mean, a girlfriend or a friend, being, a, 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 I don't know, a boss or a friend. So it depends on you. So also, you, you feel that you know, making up, for example, painting the face is also the same thing? For the <laughs> no, it's <laughs> something that is not like an object. 
It's something that you wear inside of you. It's uh -huh. a feeling. It's a feeling. Mm. You are a kind it's of all you change about the situation. Mm. That's my. Mm. That's my. Mm. That's interesting. Thank you very much. Yeah.